the Barbican Young Reviewers coming at you from the amazing Barbican Conservatory. By now you should know all of our faces from our individual videos, but just in case you've forgotten, this is Holly, Cleo, Ali and Reese. And so this will be a collaborative video between all of us where we'll be talking about the films we saw and what we thought of them. And all together we all saw four films, um, Whereas, Rude Boy, Drop Dead Gorgeous and Speed Sisters. The film festival had three things to it. It was uh, about coming of age, taking risks and breaking the rules and I think it certainly delivered on that. First up, Reese, I believe you saw Gueros. Indeed, I saw Gueros, which was a Mexican coming of age film. What I enjoyed mostly about it was how it was filmed. It was really stylized, um, it was all in black and white. For me, I don't know if it's just because I'm slow really, or I was just so into it, but I, it took me like around 10 minutes and I was like, this is black and white! The comedy was really great in it. Uh, it was subtle as well, so it wasn't like in your face. One of the guys, Santos, was talking about who the hell came up with continental breakfast. Like, what continent did that? And, like, <laughs> you know the kind of stuff like croissants? It's the kind of breakfast that everyone pretends to like, but no one does. Oh, yeah. So, there's those kind of jokes Sorry, in it. Yeah. Along the journey, they go across so many different experiences. The main thing about the film, though, was the way it was filmed and the music. I didn't come out changed or anything, but I, I didn't regret watching it. I thought it was really cool. And it was in Spanish, so, yeah, subtitles and so Reese, you had quite a busy weekend because you and Holly also went to see another film after that. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. So I dragged Reese <laughs> in to see Speed Sisters with me. Uh, this was a feature-length documentary by director Anne Fares. She wanted to go kind of back to her roots in the Middle East. When she was in the Middle East, she came across the first ever Palestinian female race car drivers and decided to make a documentary about them. The first thing that came to my mind when I watched was how is this not like a Hollywood blockbuster already? There was so much drama, you literally forgot it was a documentary. It still had a fictional arc to it, but every now and again, you'd get these short, sharp reminders of what it is they were actually living in. It was, it was really, really empowering. So Cleo, you missed out on Speed Sisters, but what did you see? Um, I saw Root Boy. It sort of had a documentary kind of vibe, like Speed Sisters, but I guess that's because they just captured kind of like the reality of Britain in the 1970s, but it was just very like a laid back kind of film. Essentially, it was about punk rock and that era in music, mostly focused on the band The Clash. The backdrop for this whole film was their cover of the reggae song Police and Thieves by Jim Mervyn, which was really amazing. You could really relate to some of the things they were saying, and the characters were really raw and real. One of the main characters did a QA afterwards, and he even came in and said, oh, they just took me out of the street and said, do you want to do this? And he was like, yeah. And um, so I guess that's, that really came through. Linking to the themes of the Chronic Youth Festival, taking risks and rebellion, absolutely relevant to what's going on now. So if you can get your hands on that film, definitely go and see it. So on the last night, Cleo and I went to go see Drop Dead Gorgeous. It was kind of more than a film, because we showed up and there was this huge glittery like <laughs> photo booth and there was a raffle which Cleo actually won first prize in. <laughs> I won a Tamagotchi. That wasn't fixed. <laughs> no, it actually wasn't. It was really cool and they um, did like a show reel of 90s trailers before the actual feature. Oh, yes. So you felt like you were actually That's really old. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So the film was a mockumentary kind of satirising American pageants. Uh, it starred a really young Kirsten Dunst, Denise Richards, Amy Adams in her first role in their chronic youth. Yeah. It was set in this uh, Mount Rose, Minnesota, so it's like kind of Fargo, and they're all kind of backwardsy. But the escapism of this glamour of this pageant kind of allowed these young people to see a way out. It was about young ambition. Definitely see how it then went on to influence like Miss Congeniality, Christopher Guest's Best in Show. Definitely go watch it. That has been our collaborative review of the film festival. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you click around us somewhere, um, there are more of our previous reviews. Check out more events or festivals the young programmers are going to have. If you've seen any of the films or any of their previous events, we'd love you to comment below and love to hear what you thought about them. Yeah, stay tuned for our next Young Reviewers review. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, like and subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.